Welcome to the 2023 ASVAB Auto and Shop Information Practice Test. This test will have 40 questions with explained answers that will help you prepare for the test. Be sure to boot that like button by turning it white. Now here's your ASVAB instructor to walk you through the questions. Question 1. What is the function of an alternator in a vehicle's electrical system? A. To provide power to the engine. B. To recharge the battery and provide electrical power to the vehicle's systems. C. To regulate the fuel intake. D. To filter the air entering the engine. The correct answer is B. To recharge the battery and provide electrical power to the vehicle's systems. An alternator is an electromechanical device that generates electrical energy by converting mechanical energy provided by the engine's motion into electrical energy. It supplies the vehicle's electrical systems with power and recharges the battery while the engine is running. Question 2. Which type of transmission uses a series of gears to transmit power from the engine to the wheels? A. Automatic transmission. B. Continuously variable transmission, CVT. C. Manual transmission. D. Dual clutch transmission, DCT. The correct answer is C, manual transmission. A manual transmission, also known as a stick shift, uses a series of gears to transmit power from the engine to the wheels. The driver must manually shift the gears using a clutch pedal and gear selector to achieve the desired gear ratio. Question three, what is the purpose of an exhaust system in a vehicle? A. To filter the air entering the engine. B. To cool the engine. C. To reduce the noise produced by the engine. D. To remove harmful gases and pollutants from the engine's exhaust gases before releasing them into the atmosphere. The correct answer is D. To remove harmful gases and pollutants from the engine's exhaust gases before releasing them into the atmosphere. An exhaust system is responsible for carrying exhaust gases away from the engine and out of the vehicle. The system typically includes a series of pipes, a catalytic converter, and a muffler. The catalytic converter is designed to convert harmful gases and pollutants into less harmful substances, while the muffler reduces the noise produced by the engine. Question 4. How does a carburetor work to mix air and fuel for the engine? A. By using a computer to precisely control the mixture. B. By directly injecting fuel into the engine cylinders. C. By mixing air and fuel in a ventry using the Bernoulli principle. D. By separating air and fuel using a series of chambers and valves. The correct answer is C. By mixing air and fuel in a ventry using the Bernoulli principle. A carburetor is a device that mixes air and fuel for the internal combustion engine. It does this by using the Bernoulli principle, which states that as the velocity of a fluid, in this case air, increases, its pressure decreases. The carburetor uses a venturi to create a low pressure area that draws fuel into the airstream, creating a mixture that can be ignited in the engine. Question 5. What is the role of a suspension system in a vehicle, and what are some common components of this system? A. To regulate the flow of air and fuel to the engine. B. To filter out impurities from the engine oil. C. To provide a comfortable ride and maintain vehicle stability. D. To generate electrical power for the vehicle systems. The correct answer is C, to provide a comfortable ride and maintain vehicle stability. A suspension system in a vehicle is responsible for providing a comfortable ride by absorbing bumps and vibrations in the road. It also helps to maintain vehicle stability by keeping the tires in contact with the road surface. Common components of a suspension system include springs, shock absorbers, struts, and anti-roll bars. Question 6. What is the function of a catalytic converter in a vehicle's exhaust system? A. To filter out impurities from the engine oil. B. To reduce the noise produced by the engine. C. 
to remove harmful gases and pollutants from the engine's exhaust gases before releasing them into the atmosphere. D. To regulate the flow of air and fuel to the engine. The correct answer is C. To remove harmful gases and pollutants from the engine's exhaust gases before releasing them into the atmosphere. A catalytic converter is a device that is installed in a vehicle's exhaust system to reduce the emissions of harmful gases and pollutants, such as carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and hydrocarbons. It works by converting these pollutants into less harmful substances, such as carbon dioxide and water, through a series of chemical reactions. This helps to reduce the impact of vehicle emissions on the environment and human health. Question 7. How does a hydraulic brake system work, and what are some common components of this system? A. It uses electrical signals to activate the brakes, and common components include brake pads and rotors. B. It uses a vacuum to activate the brakes, and common components include brake calipers and master cylinder. C. It uses hydraulic fluid to transmit force from the brake pedal to the brake pads, and common components include brake lines and wheel cylinders. D. It uses air pressure to activate the brakes, and common components include brake shoes and drum brakes. The correct answer is C. It uses hydraulic fluid to transmit force from the brake pedal to the brake pads, and common components include brake lines and wheel cylinders. A hydraulic brake system uses brake fluid to transmit force from the brake pedal to the brake pads, which presses against the rotor or drum to slow down or stop the vehicle. The main components of this system include the master cylinder, brake lines, brake calipers, or wheel cylinders, and brake pads or shoes. Question 8. What is the purpose of an ignition system in a vehicle? And what are some common components of this system? A. It controls the suspension of the vehicle, and common components include shocks and struts. B. It provides power to the wheels, and common components include the transmission and drive shaft. C. It starts the engine and provides spark to ignite the fuel, and common components include the battery, spark plugs, and ignition coil. D. It regulates the flow of fuel to the engine, and common components include the fuel pump and fuel injectors. The correct answer is C. It starts the engine and provides spark to ignite the fuel, and common components include the battery, spark plugs, and ignition coil. The ignition system is responsible for starting the engine and providing spark to ignite the fuel in the cylinders. This system includes components such as the battery, spark plugs, ignition coil, and distributor if equipped. Question 9. What does the term tread refer to in the context of tires? A. The thickness of the tire sidewall. B. The part of the tire that comes into contact with the road. C. The pattern of grooves on the surface of the tire. D. The overall diameter of the tire. The correct answer is C. The pattern of grooves on the surface of the tire. The tread of a tire refers to the pattern of grooves on the surface of the tire that come into contact with the road. Question 10. How do you measure tire pressure, and why is it important to maintain proper tire pressure in a vehicle? A. By looking at the tires, and proper tire pressure is important for fuel efficiency. B. With a tire gauge, the proper tire pressure is important for safety and handling. C. By checking the owner's manual, and proper tire pressure is important for tire longevity. D. By using a smartphone app and tire pressure is important for reducing road noise? The correct answer is B. With a tire gauge, the proper tire pressure is important for safety and handling. Tire pressure should be measured regularly with a tire pressure gauge and adjusted as necessary to manufacturer's recommended level. 
Proper tire pressure is important for safety, as underinflated tires can affect handling and braking, and overinflated tires can reduce the contact patch and affect traction. Question 11. What is the purpose of a differential in a vehicle's drivetrain, and how does it work? A. To convert rotational motion to linear motion, and it works by using gears. B. To transmit power from the engine to the wheels, and it works by using a drive shaft. C. To allow the wheels to turn at different speeds, and it works by using a set of gears. D. To provide a smooth ride, and it works by using shock absorbers. The correct answer is C. By allowing the wheels to turn at different speeds, and it works by using a set of gears. The differential allows the wheels to turn at different speeds while still receiving power from the engine. This is necessary because the wheels on the inside of a turn travel a shorter distance than the wheels on the outside. The differential uses a set of gears to achieve this and is located in the center of the axle. Question 12. How does a suspension system work to absorb shocks and bumps, and what are some of the common types of suspensions? A. By using air pressure, and common types include independent and solid axle. B. By using hydraulic fluid, and common types include torsion bar and leaf spring. C. By using metal coils or airbags, and common types include McPherson strut and double wishbone. D. By using rubber bumpers, and common types include live axle and semi-elliptic leaf spring. The correct answer is C. By using metal coils or airbags. The common types include McPherson strut and double wishbone. A suspension system is designed to absorb shocks and bumps from the road to provide a smoother ride and improve handling. This is achieved by using metal coils or airbags to compress and rebound, which helps to absorb the energy from impacts. Common types of suspensions include McPherson strut, which uses a single coilover to support the weight of the vehicle and control suspension movement, and double wishbone, which uses two control arms to keep the wheels vertical and provide stability. Question 13. What is the function of a fuel injection system in a vehicle, and how does it differ from a carburetor? A. To regulate the airflow to the engine, and a carburetor is more fuel efficient. B. To provide fuel to the engine, and a fuel injection system is more precise. C. To cool the engine, and the carburetor is easier to maintain. D. To filter the air entering the engine, and a fuel injection system is less expensive. The correct answer is B. To provide fuel to the engine, and a fuel injection system is more precise. A fuel injection system sprays fuel directly into the engine's cylinders, whereas a carburetor mixes fuel and air before delivering it to the engine. Fuel injection is more precise and efficient than a carburetor, as it can deliver the exact amount of fuel needed for optimal engine performance. Question 14. How does an air conditioning system work in a vehicle, and what are some common components of this system? A. By filtering the air inside the vehicle, and common components include a cabin air filter and blower motor. B. By compressing refrigerant gas, and common components include a compressor, condenser, and evaporator. C. By cooling the engine, and common components include a radiator and water pump. D. By increasing airflow to the engine, and common components include an air filter and throttle body. The correct answer is B. By compressing refrigerant gas, and common components include a compressor, condenser, and evaporator. An air conditioning system works by compressing and circulating refrigerant gas through a closed system, which cools the air that is blown into the vehicle's cabin. 
The system includes a compressor, condenser, and evaporator, as well as other components like expansion valves and pressure sensors. Question 15. What is the role of a starter motor in a vehicle's electrical system, and how does it work? A. To recharge the battery, and it works by using the alternator. B. To ignite the fuel in the engine, and it works by using the spark plugs. C. To start the engine, and it works by using an electrical motor to turn the engine's flywheel. D. To control the vehicle's speed, and it works by using the transmission. The correct answer is C. To start the engine, and it works by using an electrical motor to turn the engine's flywheel. The starter motor is responsible for turning the engine over when the ignition key is turned. It works by using an electric motor to engage the engine's flywheel, which then turns the engine over and allows it to start. Once the engine is running, the alternator takes over and provides power to the vehicle's electrical system. Question 16. What is the function of a timing belt or timing chain in a vehicle's engine, and how often does it need to be replaced? A. To regulate the engine's air intake, and it needs to be replaced every 100,000 miles. B. To synchronize the engine's valve and piston movements and it needs to be replaced every 60,000 to 100,000 miles. C, to regulate the engine's exhaust emissions, and it needs to be replaced every 30,000 miles. D, to increase the engine's horsepower, and it needs to be replaced every 10,000 miles. The correct answer is B, to synchronize the engine's valve and piston movements and it needs to be replaced every 60,000 to 100,000 miles. The timing belt or timing chain is responsible for synchronizing the engine's valve and piston movements, which allows the engine to operate smoothly. It needs to be replaced periodically to prevent it from breaking, which could cause serious engine damage. Question 17. How does a manual transmission work to transmit power from the engine to the wheels? And what are some advantages and disadvantages compared to an automatic transmission? A. By using a torque converter, and it provides better fuel efficiency, but is less convenient. B. By using a series of gears and a clutch, and it allows for greater control and is more engaging to drive, but can be more difficult to learn and operate. C. By using a hydraulic system, and it provides smoother shifting but is less reliable. D. By using a continuously variable transmission, and it provides the best of both worlds in terms of fuel efficiency and convenience. The correct answer is B. By using a series of gears and a clutch, and it allows for greater control and is more engaging to drive but can be more difficult to learn and operate. A manual transmission uses a series of gears and a clutch to transmit power from the engine to the wheels. It allows the driver to have more control over the vehicle and can be more engaging to drive, but it requires more skill and attention to operate than an automatic transmission. Question 18. What is the purpose of an oil filter in a vehicle's engine? and how often does it need to be replaced? A, to cool the engine, and it needs to be replaced every 10,000 miles. B, to remove contaminants from the engine oil, and it needs to be replaced every 5,000 to 10,000 miles. C, to provide lubrication to the engine, and it needs to be replaced every 20,000 miles. D, to regulate the engine's emissions, and it needs to be replaced every 30,000 miles. The correct answer is B, to remove contaminants from the engine oil, and it needs to be replaced every 5,000 to 10,000 miles. The oil filter is responsible for removing contaminants from the engine oil, which helps to protect the engine from wear and damage. It needs to be replaced periodically to ensure that it is functioning properly and providing adequate protection for the engine. The recommended replacement interval can vary depending on the vehicle and driving conditions. Question 19. 
What are some common causes of engine overheating, and how can this issue be addressed? A. Low engine oil level, and it can be addressed by adding more oil. B. Dirty air filter, and it can be addressed by replacing the filter. C. Clogged radiator, and it can be addressed by flushing the radiator and replacing the coolant. D. All of the above. The correct answer is C. Clogged radiator, and it can be addressed by flushing the radiator and replacing the coolant. Common causes of engine overheating include a low engine oil level, a dirty air filter, a malfunctioning thermostat, a faulty water pump, and a clogged radiator. If the cause is a clogged radiator, it can be addressed by flushing the radiator and replacing the coolant. Question 20. How does an anti-lock brake system, ABS, work to prevent wheel lockup during braking? And what are some common benefits of this technology? A. By applying more pressure to the brake pads, and it provides better fuel efficiency. B. By pulsing the brake pressure to each wheel, and it allows for better control and stability during braking. C. By reducing the brake pad temperature, and it reduces brake wear and tear. D. By increasing the brake pad surface area, and it provides better stopping power. The correct answer is B. By pulsing the brake pressure to each wheel, and it allows for better control and stability during braking. An anti-lock brake system, ABS, works by pulsing the brake pressure to each wheel during braking, which prevents the wheels from locking up and allows the driver to maintain control and stability. Some benefits of this technology include improved braking performance on slippery surfaces, shorter stopping distances, and better control during emergency braking situations. Question 21. What is the function of a radiator in a vehicle's cooling system, and how does it work to dissipate heat? A. To provide lubrication to the engine, and it works by circulating engine oil through the system. B. To cool the engine, and it works by circulating coolant through the system and dissipating heat through the fins. C. To provide power to the engine, and it works by converting fuel into energy. D. To regulate the engine's emissions, and it works by filtering pollutants from the exhaust gases. The correct answer is B. To cool the engine, and it works by circulating coolant through the system and dissipating heat through the fins. The radiator is an essential component of a vehicle's cooling system. Its function is to cool the engine by dissipating heat from the coolant that circulates through the engine block and cylinder head. The coolant is then circulated through the radiator, which dissipates heat through the fins and releases it into the surrounding air. Question 22. How does a serpentine belt work in a vehicle's engine? And what are some common signs that it needs to be replaced? A. It provides power to the alternator and air conditioning compressor, and it needs to be replaced when it starts to squeak or crack. B. It regulates the engine's emissions, and it needs to be replaced when the engine starts to misfire. C. It cools the engine, and it needs to be replaced when the engine starts to overheat. D. It provides power to the wheels, and it needs to be replaced when the vehicle has trouble accelerating. A. It provides power to the alternator and air conditioning compressor, and it needs to be replaced when it starts to squeal or crack. B. It regulates the engine's emissions, and it needs to be replaced when the engine starts to misfire. C. It cools the engine, and it needs to be replaced when the engine starts to overheat. D. It provides power to the wheels, and it needs to be replaced when the vehicle has trouble accelerating. The correct answer is A. It provides power to the alternator and air conditioning compressor, and it needs to be replaced when it starts to squeal or crack. 
The serpentine belt is a long, multi-ribbed belt that provides power to several components in the engine, including the alternator and air conditioning compressor. As the belt ages and wears, it may start to squeal or crack, which are common signs that it needs to be replaced. Question 23. What are some common causes of engine misfires, and how can this issue be diagnosed and repaired? A. Low engine oil level, and it can be repaired by adding more oil. B. Faulty spark plugs or ignition coils, and it can be diagnosed by checking the spark plugs and repaired by replacing the faulty components. C. Clogged air filter, and it can be repaired by replacing the filter. D. All of the above. The correct answer is B. Faulty spark plugs or ignition coils, and it can be diagnosed by checking the spark plugs and repaired by replacing the faulty components. Engine misfires can be caused by a variety of issues, including faulty spark plugs, ignition coils, fuel injectors, or sensors. One common cause is worn or damaged spark plugs or ignition coils, which can be diagnosed by checking the spark plugs and repaired by replacing the faulty components. Question 24. What is the purpose of a shock absorber in a vehicle's suspension system, and how does it work to improve ride comfort and handling? A. To provide support to the suspension system, and it works by increasing the vehicle's ground clearance. B. To absorb shocks and vibrations, and it works by using hydraulic fluid to dampen the movement of the suspension springs. C. To regulate the vehicle's speed, and it works by controlling the transmission. D. To provide traction to the wheels, and it works by increasing the surface area of the tires. The correct answer is B. To absorb shocks and vibrations, and it works by using hydraulic fluid to dampen the movement of the suspension springs. Shock absorbers are a key component of a vehicle's suspension system. Their purpose is to absorb shocks and vibrations from the road and to improve ride comfort and handling. Shock absorbers work by using hydraulic fluid to dampen the movement of the suspension springs, which reduces the bouncing and jarring that passengers feel while riding in the vehicle. Question 25. Which of the following tools would be most useful for removing a bolt with a rounded off head? A. A torque wrench. B. A socket wrench. C. Pliers. D. Vice grip pliers. The correct answer is D. Vice grip pliers. Vice grip pliers are designed to grip onto rounded off bolts and can be used to remove them. Question 26. What does the term compression ratio refer to in the context of engines? A. The ratio of air to fuel in the engine's combustion chamber. B. The ratio of the engine's maximum to minimum RPMs. C. The ratio of the engine's maximum to minimum horsepower. D. The ratio of the volume of the engine's combustion chamber at its largest to its smallest. The correct answer is D. The ratio of the volume of the engine's combustion chamber at its largest to its smallest. The compression ratio of an engine refers to the ratio of the volume of the combustion chamber at its largest to its smallest. Question 27. What type of suspension system is typically used in heavy-duty trucks and commercial vehicles? A. McPherson strut. B. Double wishbone. C. Leaf spring. D. Coil spring. The correct answer is C. Leaf spring. Leaf springs are commonly used in heavy-duty trucks and commercial vehicles. Question 28. What is the purpose of a clutch in a manual transmission vehicle? And how does it work to engage and disengage the engine from the wheels? A. To control the temperature of the engine. B. To transfer power from the engine to the wheels. C. To activate the air conditioning system. D. To engage the parking brake. The correct answer is B. To transfer power from the engine to the wheels. 
The purpose of the clutch in a manual transmission vehicle is to transfer power from the engine to the wheels. It works by connecting and disconnecting the engine to the transmission by using friction between the clutch plate and the flywheel. When the clutch pedal is pressed, the clutch disengages, allowing the driver to change gears or come to a stop without stalling the engine. When the pedal is released, the clutch engages and the power is transferred from the engine to the wheels. Question 29. What are some common causes of brake fade and how can this issue be addressed to maintain brake performance? A. Overheating, worn brake pads and contaminated brake fluid. B. Low tire pressure, worn wheel bearings and loose lug nuts. C. Dirty air filter, clogged fuel filter, and bad spark plugs. D. Low engine oil, worn out timing belt, and leaky exhaust system. The correct answer is A. Overheating, worn brake pads, and contaminated brake fluid. Common causes of brake fade include overheating, worn brake pads, and contaminated brake fluid. Overheating can occur from prolonged or aggressive braking, which causes the brake pad to glaze and lose their ability to generate friction. Worn brake pads reduce the amount of material available to generate friction. While contaminated brake fluid can lower the boiling point of the fluid, leading to vapor lock and reduced brake performance. To address brake fade, it is important to maintain proper brake pad thickness, use high-quality brake fluid, and avoid prolonged or aggressive braking that can lead to overheating. Question 30. What is the function of a camshaft in a vehicle's engine, and how does it control valve timing and lift? A. To regulate the flow of air into the engine. B. To mix fuel and air in the engine. C. To control the opening and closing of engine valves. D. To cool the engine by circulating coolant. The correct answer is C. To control the opening and closing of engine valves. The function of a camshaft in a vehicle's engine is to control the opening and closing of engine valves. The camshaft has a series of lobes that actuate the valves, with the profile of the lobes determining the timing and lift of each valve. As the camshaft rotates, the lobes push against the valve lifters, which in turn push against the push rods, rocker arms, or cam followers, depending on the engine design. This action causes the valves to open and close, allowing air and fuel into the engine and exhaust gases out of the engine. Question 31. How does a turbocharger or supercharger work to increase engine power, and what are some advantages and disadvantages of using these systems? A. By increasing engine displacement and adding more cylinders. B. By forcing more air into the engine. C. By improving fuel efficiency through better combustion. D. By reducing engine weight and improving aerodynamics. The correct answer is B, by forcing more air into the engine. A turbocharger or supercharger works by forcing more air into the engine, which allows for more fuel to be burned and more power to be produced. A turbocharger uses exhaust gas to spin a turbine, which then compresses incoming air before it enters the engine while a supercharger uses a belt-driven compressor to force air into the engine. The advantage of these systems is increased power output, but they can also lead to higher engine temperatures and increased complexity and cost. Question 32. What is the function of a PCV valve in a vehicle's engine, and how does it help regulate crankshaft pressure and prevent oil leaks? A. To regulate fuel injection timing. B. To control exhaust gas recirculation. C. To reduce engine noise and vibration. D. To regulate crankshaft ventilation and prevent oil leaks. The correct answer is D. To regulate crankcase ventilation and prevent oil leaks. 
The function of a PCV, positive crankcase ventilation valve, is to regulate crankcase ventilation by controlling the flow of gases between the crankcase and the intake manifold. This helps prevent excessive pressure buildup in the crankcase, which can cause oil leaks and other engine issues. The PCV valve also helps reduce emissions by directing blow-by gases back into the engine to be burned. Question 33. What are some common types of automotive fluids, and how do they differ in terms of properties and usage? A. Brake fluid, engine oil, transmission fluid, and coolant. They differ in their viscosity and specific function in the vehicle. B. Gasoline, diesel, ethanol, and propane. They differ in their energy content and combustion characteristics. C. Power steering fluid, windshield washer fluid, battery acid, and brake cleaner. They differ in their chemical composition and intended use. D. Antifreeze, washer fluid, brake fluid, and engine oil. They differ in their color and smell. The correct answer is A. Brake fluid, engine oil, transmission fluid, and coolant. They differ in their viscosity and specific function in the vehicle. Common types of automotive fluids include brake fluid, engine oil, transmission fluid, and coolant. These fluids differ in their viscosity and specific function in the vehicle. Brake fluid is a hydraulic fluid that transmits force from the brake pedal to the brakes, while engine oil lubricates the engine and transmission fluid helps to transmit power to the wheels. Coolant helps to regulate engine temperature and prevent overheating. It is important to use the correct type of fluid for each application to ensure proper performance and avoid damage to the vehicle. Question 34. What is the purpose of a throttle body in a vehicle's engine, and how does it control the amount of air entering the engine? A. To regulate the flow of fuel into the engine. B. To regulate the flow of air into the engine. C. To regulate the engine's idle speed. D. To regulate the engine's oil pressure. The correct answer is B. To regulate the flow of air into the engine. The purpose of a throttle body is to regulate the flow of air into the engine. It is typically located at the entrance to the intake manifold and contains a butterfly valve that can be opened or closed to control the amount of air entering the engine. The throttle body is controlled by the accelerator pedal, which tells the engine how much air to let in based on how much the pedal is depressed. Question 35. What are some common causes of engine knocking or pinging, and how can this issue be addressed to prevent engine damage? A. Dirty air filter. Low oil pressure. Clogged fuel filter. Address with regular maintenance. B. Incorrect ignition timing. Low octane fuel. Excessive carbon buildup. Address with tune-up and using higher octane fuel. C. Faulty EGR valve, malfunctioning oxygen sensor, damaged spark plugs, address with diagnostic testing and component replacement. D. Improper fuel mixture, worn piston rings, damaged rod bearings, address with engine rebuild or replacement. The correct answer is B. Incorrect ignition timing, low octane fuel, excessive carbon buildup. Address with tune-up and using higher octane fuel. Common causes of engine knocking or pinging include incorrect ignition timing, using low octane fuel, and excessive carbon buildup in the combustion chamber. These issues can be addressed by performing a tune-up to ensure proper ignition timing, using higher octane fuel, and using fuel additives to reduce carbon buildup. If left unaddressed, engine knocking can cause damage to the engine and reduce its lifespan. Question 36. What is the purpose of a distributor in a vehicle's ignition system, and how does it distribute high voltage to the spark plugs? A. To control the flow of coolant through the engine. 
B. To regulate the air-fuel mixture entering the engine. C. To distribute high voltage to the spark plugs at the correct time. D. To reduce emissions by controlling exhaust gas recirculation. The correct answer is C. To distribute high voltage to the spark plugs at the correct time. The purpose of a distributor in a vehicle's ignition system is to distribute high voltage from the ignition coil to the spark plugs at the correct time. It contains a rotor that rotates inside the distributor cap, which is connected to the spark plug wires. As the rotator spins, it distributes the high voltage to the appropriate spark plug wire, causing a spark to ignite the fuel in the combustion chamber. Modern vehicles often use electronic ignition systems instead of distributors, which use sensors and a computer to control the ignition timing. Question 37. How does a four-wheel drive, 4WD, or all-wheel drive, AWD, system work to transmit power to all four wheels? And what are some advantages and disadvantages compared to a two-wheel drive system? A. By using a transfer case to split power between front and rear axles provides better traction on slippery surfaces but reduces fuel efficiency and increases complexity. B. By using a hydraulic system to engage additional wheels when needed, provides improved off-road capabilities but is more expensive and heavier. C. By using a differential lock to send power to all wheels evenly, provides better traction on uneven terrain, but is less efficient on paved roads. D. By using a CVT transmission to constantly adjust power to all wheels, provides optimal traction in all conditions, but is the most expensive and complex system. The correct answer is A. By using a transfer case to split power between front and rear axles, provides better traction on slippery surfaces, but reduces fuel efficiency and increases complexity. A 4WD or AWD system uses a transfer case to split power between the front and rear axles, providing power to all four wheels. This provides better traction on slippery surfaces and off-road terrain, but can reduce fuel efficiency and increase complexity compared to a two-wheel drive system. Question 38. What is the function of an EGR valve in a vehicle's emissions control system, and how does it reduce harmful pollutants from the exhaust? A. To regulate the flow of air into the engine, reduces harmful pollutants by increasing fuel efficiency. B. To regulate the flow of fuel into the engine. Reduces harmful pollutants by increasing combustion efficiency. C. To regulate the flow of exhaust gases back into the engine. Reduces harmful pollutants by lowering combustion temperatures. D. To regulate the flow of coolant throughout the engine. Reduces harmful pollutants by lowering operating temperatures. The correct answer is C to regulate the flow of exhaust gases back into the engine, reduces harmful pollutants by lowering combustion temperatures. The function of the EGR valve in a vehicle's emissions control system is to regulate the flow of exhaust gases back into the engine. This reduces harmful pollutants, such as nitrogen oxides, NOx, by lowering combustion temperatures and reducing the formation of NOx. Question 39. How does a catalytic converter failure affect a vehicle's performance and emissions, and what are some signs of a failing converter? A. Causes engine misfires and reduced power output. Emits black smoke from the exhaust. B. Causes increased fuel consumption and rough idling. Emits a pungent odor from the exhaust. C causes reduced engine performance and increased emissions, emits a sulfur-like smell from the exhaust, D, causes engine overheating and stalling, emits a loud noise from the exhaust. The correct answer is C, 
causes reduced engine performance and increased emissions, emits a sulfur-like smell from the exhaust. A failing catalytic converter can cause reduced engine performance and increase emissions, as it is responsible for converting harmful pollutants in the exhaust into less harmful emissions. Signs of a failing converter include the check engine light turning on, reduced engine performance, and a sulfur-like smell from the exhaust. Question 40. What is the role of a wheel bearing in a vehicle suspension system? and how does it support the weight of the vehicle while allowing the wheels to spin freely? A. It supports the weight of the vehicle by holding the wheel hub in place while allowing the wheels to spin freely. B. It supports the weight of the vehicle by rotating with the wheel hub while allowing the wheels to spin freely. C. It supports the weight of the vehicle by holding the tire in place while allowing the wheels to spin freely. D. It supports the weight of the vehicle by compressing with the suspension while allowing the wheels to spin freely. The correct answer is A. It supports the weight of the vehicle by holding the wheel hub in place while allowing the wheels to spin freely. The wheel bearing is a set of steel balls or rollers held together by a metal ring known as a race. The bearing is mounted inside the wheel hub, and it allows the hub to rotate freely around the spindle while the weight of the vehicle is supported. The bearing helps distribute the weight of the vehicle evenly across the axle and reduces friction between the hub and the spindle. This allows the wheels to spin freely with minimal resistance, improving fuel efficiency, and reducing wear on the tires. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Check out these videos that can help you study for your ASVAB tests. If you need more help beyond these videos, we have free practice tests on our website. We have all the links down in the description below. Don't forget to boot that like button and subscribe to our channel.